Ryan Karkoska kicking off for the Tigers. One of the most exciting players in college football. One of the deep men, David Palmer. And Auburn going to let him show his stuff right away. Palmer to the 10. Palmer, stutter step, short of the 20-yard line and down. And we see that there is a penalty flag on the kickoff. An illegal block against Alabama on the return. So Barker and Bama will be coming out from their own six-yard line. Barker tosses to Lassick. Huge hole to the 14, and Krishelling makes the stop. Classic behind Barker. They'll stay on the ground. They've been successful here on their opening series. He's down at the 24, and Etheridge makes the stop again for Auburn. Prince Wembley. Isn't that a wonderful name? <laughs> He's down there to Barker's left, having just checked in. This is Houston, the fullback, smashing straight ahead to the 32-yard line. Alabama on the roll, first and 10. At their own 32-yard line. This the initial drive. Barker's first pass of the day is going to keep it. A big hole. Barker for the first down. Wembley getting ready. Barker straight back has time complete from the shotgun against a fierce rush Auburn forced the punt here's the toss Lassick cut off and swarmed at the 26 yard line James Willis number 51 a quality linebacker right there Curtis Brown brings the play in from the Alabama sideline Lassick tossed to the left Cuts back and finally explodes to the 41-yard line. And a Bama first down. A wonderful run by Derek Lassick. Palmer steps in motion. And Barker off the blitz with that inside pitch to Lassick. And Lassick is not going to get the first down. Good defense by Auburn. Fred Smith right there. And again, Alabama forced the punt. Here comes that rush. They tried to set the screen, and they didn't get it into Bostick's hands. And he defeated Alabama four consecutive times. Now Barker, back for Alabama, gets it into the hands of a lineman, and that's an illegal. <laughs> so no way. That no way. From the shotgun again. White he drops it into Bostick's hands. Bostic to the 46-yard line and an Auburn first down. Antonio Langham there defensively. Get rid of the ball before the rush gets there. Reed McMillan in it running back for Auburn. He's protecting for White. Pass drops it in Pass interference. And there's the penalty flag. Brent Alabama's defense has only allowed their offensive team to convert a third down situation three times in the first quarter this year. White. And he knocks fumble. fumble. Auburn recovers. John Copeland knocked the ball loose. Auburn pounced on it, and the Tigers will punt. I think I said it was first down as we started the quarter. Actually, it was second down. So this is third down. Barker, Lassick flaring. Oh. Fires toward Palmer. Caught it and smashed by Willis. Woo. Busy man from Alabama. Punting again. Lousy punt. Bailey on one hop is hammered and down at the 37-yard line. Here's that unbalanced line. Bostic found a crease that time and popped to the 48-yard line. Bostic follows it to that side across midfield. And Bostic finding success to the 43-yard line. But those youngsters open some holes in this Vonda defense. Now White off a fake. And doesn't buy enough time as Elvis Brown closes in with Copeland. White. Throws complete to the 48. Sam Shade crawled all over Orlando Parker. And White under pressure against the blitz throw intercepted by Johnson 15 20 the first turnover of the game down at the 27 yard line 
Good position there by Tommy Johnson. Second interception of the year. And the 15th interception for Alabama. This is third and one. Confusion with the formation. Now they sprint to the right. And Barker is going to throw on third and short. Incomplete. Alabama complaining that there was interference. No flag down as Clarence Morton was there defensively using the double tight end formation against this fierce rush. Just absolutely no time for McMillan. Michael Rogers crawled all over him. White will operate from the shotgun. And here comes the rush. Curry takes him down at the 12-yard line. Here his team involved in a scoreless die, tie with Pat Dye's team. Lassick is cut off by the Auburn defense. An unwise decision on the young man's part. Takes a huge loss out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Cunningham in hot pursuit. That is a 16-yard loss. Parker with time. Intercepted by Anthony Harris. Alabama shows blitz, backs off, still get pressure. Here's Parker. Fumble. Alabama at midfield has recovered. Coming after him. Hit on the release, and Palmer makes a diving reception at the 26. And Barker off a quick drop, looking back to the right, and Palmer and incomplete because of Calvin Jackson, and there's a penalty flag down. Interference is called against Jackson. Barker intercepted in the end zone by Smith. So Alabama turns it over for the second time. We've had four turnovers in the first half of this game. White out of the shotgun. London in pursuit. Throws complete to the 32-yard line. Stan White hits Thomas Bailey for a big first down on third and eight. Del McGee, the other wide receiver, who Bostic is in that tailback spot, and White is going to throw. Use Bostic trying to set the screen, and Hall wouldn't let him have it. Second down and 10 now. And Wham Lassick trying to break free from Willis. Was he down or not? Apparently, he was not. There's the delay. Fullback Houston. Oh, at the 13 yard line. Cunningham and Smith. Some major league hitting going on in this one. So we've got a late hit against Auburn. Last play of the first half, and it's a big run for Alabama. Fred Smith stops him defensively, and with one second to go, the clock is stopped. Shopping, in distress, renting apartments, applying for jobs. Prime time. Parker, and the first half comes to an end on that completed pass to Curtis Brown. That dies last game. And his Auburn Tigers are scoreless with Alabama. Unbalanced line. Bostic. Left side, still plowing to the 34-yard line. White off a play fake, has time, hits Bailey, first down Auburn inside the Alabama 45-yard line. To the left of the quarterback, Bostic the running back. Off a of fake, White looks left, high, intercepted! Tig picks it off, and he's gonna go the distance! Antonio Langham. Bostic, four yards. This will be third and short. Curry there defensively. Bostic on the second effort gives Auburn a first down. 
as he pulled away from Michael Rogers. He earned Auburn the first down. Big to Bostic on the hurry move. He's down at the 21 yard line. Blitz. Barker against it. He hits his running back, Lassick, who slipped out. Lassick to the 35 yard line. And a Bama first down. <laughs> Houston. To the 29 yard line. They're coming with a blitz. Ooh. And against it, just using Martin Houston. Classic. Cut off coming to the right. And that was Johnson, Chucky Johnson, making the play for Auburn. under pressure down at the 30-yard line for Michael Proctor with the 47-yard field goal attempt Proctor puts Alabama up by 10 well here's Bostic to draw to the 28-yard line. Now it's third and two for Auburn. Bostic, short of the first down. Shannon Brown. Daniel Punning. Ooh, off the side of his foot. Goes out of bounds, short of midfield. Alabama. In excellent striking position. They'll take over on the Auburn 45 after the 16 yard misfire. And he hands off to his tailback, who makes it to the 40 yard line. <laughs> the toss. It's Williams. Big hole on the right side. He's close to another Bama first down. 24 yard line. Williams on a beautiful cutback. Smith and Shelling there defensively for the Tigers. Williams, touchdown, Bama. Roll Tide. Danger here is trying to get too much, I guess, and turning it over again against this defense. And no time at all for White. Will Brown, second and 18. Bostic. Third and eight. Intercepted. Incomplete. He waved Teague off. Respect him. Classic. Down at the 31-yard uh, line. That night over there in Starkville. Now here's the toss to Williams. Williams to the 40-yard line for Bama. They're coming after him again, Brent. And Williams Fum down. I think they fumble it. Anthony Harris may have gotten a, a hand on that ball. Yes, he gave Auburn a life. So Stan White and Auburn. White from the shotgun. Buried by Copeland. John Copeland, number 94. Complete. Going to the back who was sliding out. And Reed McMillan takes it to the 45-yard line. And tomorrow our coverage continues. Then on Saturday, we'll be down in Tallahassee, Florida, Florida State. That one's at noon. Here it is complete to Carter. And Carter to the 35-yard line. Fourth down. White throws first down. He hits Frank Sanders. And a penalty flag coming down. We have a dead ball. First foul. The offensive yeah. team. Oh. 
That's done. It'll be a first down and 25. That's too bad. You know, they were moving the ball. They get their first down. Now they have to take the 15. First and 25. The ball is brought back to the Alabama 40. And White is tripped up and a penalty flag down. Curry may have come offside on that play. It is the uh, side judge over there on the far side who threw the yellow. They either snapped the ball later. He was offside. offside one or the other. Defensive team, <laughs> five yard penalty, previous spot. Here. First and 20 after the penalty. White has a receiver and couldn't pick him up. He had Frank Sanders all alone at the 20-yard line. It really makes you mad when a wide receiver moves like that. Illegal motion, offensive team, five-yard penalty for Pete to down. <laughs> first down. White oh. hit on the release and caught at the 30-yard line with a diving reception. And White is lucky to get it off, and Bailey makes the catch. Florida State suddenly jumped up on Texas A&M, an unbeaten Texas A&M team, and that is igniting the controversy. We'll have to see what the voters come up with after this weekend's activities. Now, Nick's incomplete. Got it behind Sanders, didn't he? And it is fourth down. And remember, they have to get to the 15-yard line for a first down. They're going to need three scores here in the last five minutes to get anything done. This is a 48-yarder. Look short. They still need three scores. This is ran for about a half minute. There's the fullback, Martin Houston lumbering up for a few more yards against Auburn, so. Auburn, this, excuse me, man. Auburn might as well put nine or ten guys right up in there right and try to go in there and strip it. The serenade for Pat Dye from the Alabama faithful. Field as Martin Houston <laughs> wrapping one up. Ooh, big hole. Lynch to the 42. Down we go to Mark Jones. Mark, back upstairs to you guys. Thank you, Mark. Second and five. And Alabama content to bring the clock down. The final minute and a half here. So on fourth down, Bama for the first down. Penalty flags flying. Illegal participation, defensive team, 12 men on the field. It'll be a 15-yard penalty, first down. Chevrolet, most valuable players of the game. He mentioned the interception. The man who did it, Antonio Langham, 61 yards for the first touchdown. James Willis, standout linebacker from Auburn. And Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. Gene Stallings closes in on a possible national championship. Back in a moment. <laughs> 